When watching the fight scene between Lloyd and Drunk Yor in the admissions interview arc, I had to ask myself one question. How strong is Mommy? Even though Yor was as drunk as a Korean salary man after a night of drinking, the sheer power level between these two was so telling. On a side note, with Studio Deadass dropped their whole AOT Season 1 and Season 2 budget on this motherfucker. They like shit. Mappa, y'all might have taken AOT and Vinland Saga from us, but don't forget your boys could still animate an elegant fighting scene. It was actually revealed in the official fan book Eyes Oni that in terms of straight physical power, Yor is around 100 and Lloyd is around 60 to 70. But in episode 5, even drunk Yor had an overwhelming advantage over Zaddy Lloyd. In the manga, there has been constant examples showing how strong Yor really is. My absolute favorite chapter of all time is when Mommy got shot in the ass. In chapter 17.5, while she was on assassination duty, Yor, dead ass, no pun intended, got shot in the ass. Like homegirl was in so much pain, her face was my face when I was in the restroom after finishing the 2x Korean ramen challenge. Instead of going to the hospital like a normal person, my dudette went on a full on date with Lloyd the day after. And to show her Sigma mind grind set, Yor was hovering over the seat so that she wouldn't sit on the butt cheek that got decimated by a bullet. Shit, that's one lucky bullet. But I can tell you as a veteran of hover sitting while shitting at a public restroom, this ain't no easy feat. If this feat wasn't impressive enough, Yor even took a sip of straight blowfish poison. Instead of kneeling over and dying because this toxin is 1200 times deadlier than cyanide and one fish has enough poison to kill 30 people, Yor instead killed 30 simps from her smile alone after being healed from taking a sip of this deadly poison. Even looking back at Yor's childhood in chapter 51.5, looking past Yor almost killing Yuri with a leak, deadass, leak dance, farm girl gone wrong. Yor trekked into the Amazonian forest, got butt humped by 1000 bees, and brought back a whole ass vegan feast with a dead Inotsuke on the side. <laughs> now why do I bring up all this talk around Yor's power level? One reason why is because this very trait in itself acts as a detriment towards her day responsibility of being Anya's mother. Don't get me wrong, I get Waku Waku alongside Anya just seeing how a last boss is trying to be a simple housewife. But you start to see how Yor struggles internally with her thinking that she doesn't make a good mother to Anya or a good wife to Lloyd. In chapter 14, we start to see a drop in Yor's confidence being a housewife. In one panel, she even says, I'm such a failure as a wife, I can't even keep my own clothes clean. Actually, in the original Japanese text, these words from her has an even deeper meaning. It roughly translates to your having a very conservative outlook of what it means to be a good housewife. In this case, think about your traditional Japanese housewife. One that's good with cleaning, cooking, taking care of children, and having the appearance of a traditional housewife. But in typical spy family wholesomeness, Lloyd lays down the hammer, accepts Yor for who she is, and then we get the cease in the Kokoro with Yor admitting that she's very happy that she married Lloyd. Apart from the good old character development spiel, there's actually a different darker topic that I want to cover. And that is the popular fan theory that Yor's final mission is to kill Lloyd. There's multiple reasons of why fans believe that this will be the climax of the series. Reason number one, there was that one panel where Anya says in her sleep, Ma, don't kill Pa. This could either be Anya just saying random stuff, or it's her actually foreshadowing that there will be a final fight between her parents. Reason number two, Yor and Lloyd's fight in episode 5 is a direct foreshadowing of what's to come. It was all shits and giggles, but Yor could have seriously injured Lloyd if her heels didn't break. But this goes to show you that Yor could be a serious threat to Lloyd if they were in a serious fight. And the last reason, when reading through old works of Tatsuya Endo, there seems to be a pattern where the main female lead really contemplates killing the male MC. And from all these different reasons, if I could just entertain y'all just for a moment of what I think, 100% 
I also think the climax fight in this series will be between Lloyd and Yor. Yor would of course be really conflicted during the actual fight, but despite that, she would completely overpower Lloyd into submission. Lloyd at this point gives up and tells Yor just to kill him because I'm sure at this point of the story, he really cares about Yor and understands the mission is the most important thing to Yor. But then Anya, our wingman Anya, shows up to the scene and when Yor makes eye contact with her daughter, her value from being a spy completely shifts towards the importance of family. In other words, being a spy then becomes less important than being a family. I don't have anything beyond that, but I truly believe that this is how everything is going to pan out in the final arc. I honestly really look forward to the lead up to this, and I especially look forward to when Endo Sensei dives into Yor's backstory. That Lloyd childhood arc got be messed up, so hopefully Yor's background is more on the wholesome side. Anyways y'all, thank y'all for y'all support. See you guys next week, this has been your boy E-Man, peace out.